Top 10 Most Expensive Stadiums in Africa Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Displor and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be presenting to you the top 10 most expensive stadiums in Africa. Football is arguably one of the most popular sports in the world. This is the reason that most countries have opted to construct world-class stadiums. Even though Africa lags behind in terms of infrastructure, there is no doubt that the 2010 FIFA World Cup that took place in South Africa set the race for the construction of top-notch stadiums on the continent. Most stadiums in Africa are used for football, but some are used for other sports like rugby and athletics. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. There are hundreds of beautiful and gigantic stadiums in Africa, but these are the 10 most expensive of all the stadiums. Number 10. Estadio Nacional de Ombaka, Angola, cost $100 million. Ombaka National Stadium is a multi-use stadium in Benguela, Angola. Completed in 2010, it is used mostly for football matches and has hosted some events for the 2010 African Cup of Nations. The stadium has a capacity of 35,000 people. The stadium has hosted several football games, both in the male and female category. The construction of the stadium came to a cost of around $100 million and it currently ranks as the 10th most expensive stadium in Africa. Number 9. Stade Olympique de Rades, Tunisia. Cost $110 million. The Rades Olympic Stadium, formerly known as 7 November Stadium, is a multi-purpose stadium in Rades, Tunisia, about 10 km southeast of the city centre of Tunis in the center of the Olympic city. It is currently used mostly for football matches and also has facilities for athletics. The stadium holds 65,000 and was built in 2001 for the 2001 Mediterranean Games and is considered to be one of the best stadiums in Africa. Built for the 2001 Mediterranean Games, the 65,000 seat covered area covers 13,000 meters square and consists of a central area, three adjoining grounds, two warm-up rooms, two paintings and an official stand of 7,000 seats. The press gallery is equipped with 300 desks. Before the construction of the stadium, the Tunis Derby used to be played in the 45,000 seat capacity Stade El Menzar. It is also the stadium of Tunisia national football team since 2001. The construction of the stadium cost approximately $110 million. It was inaugurated in July 2001 for the final of the Tunisian Cup between CS Haman Leaf and Etoile du Sahel. Number 8. Mbombela Stadium, South Africa, cost $140 million. The Mbombela Stadium is a football and rugby union all seater stadium in Mbombela, formerly Nesprit, in the Mpumalanga province of South Africa, and was built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It was one of the 10 venues of the tournament and one of the five newly constructed stadiums. It is the home ground for the Pumas. It is an all seater stadium with 40,929 seats, almost all on the roof. It is located 6 km west of Mbombela, the capital of the Pumalanga province and is the largest venue in the province. The 1,050 million rand facility was ready for use well ahead of the June 2010 World Cup kickoff and was funded entirely through central government taxpayer funding, requiring no financing by the city. The stadium design reflects its interrelation with the nearby Kruger National Park. The signature feature of the stadium are the 18 roof supports that resemble giraffes. The seats are patterned with zebra stripes. Visitors to the venue can easily add on a side trip to the game reserve. Number 7. Peter Mokaba Stadium, South Africa, cost $150 million. The Peter Mokaba Stadium is a football and rugby union stadium in Polokwane, formerly Petersburg, South Africa, that was used for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It has a capacity of 45,500, but for the purposes of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, the seating capacity was reduced to 41,733. It is named after Peter Mokaba, a former leader of the ANC Youth League. It is located 3 km from the city center and is located just east of the older Peter Mokaba Stadium. The stadium is just one of five new stadiums that were built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Initial plans to upgrade the existing old Peter Mokaba Stadium were abandoned in favor of the 1,245 million rand new Peter Mokaba Stadium. The stadium was used intensely for training and matches, therefore the natural grass has been reinforced with artificial fibers which anchors the field into a stable and a level grass surface of Deso Grassmaster. The first event at the stadium was the Beta Mokaba Cup, held on 23rd January 2010. It was a four-team friendly tournament which served as the stadium's opening event. In the first semi-final, Supersports United beat Danish side, Bront by two goals to one. In the second semi-final, Kaiser Chiefs advanced after beating Wits 4 goals to 3 on penalties after a goalless draw. Kaiser Chiefs defeated Supersport United 4 goals to 2 in the finals. 
The first international game played at the stadium was an international friendly between South Africa and Guatemala on the 31st of May 2010, which South Africa won 5 goals to nil. Number 6. Estadio Nacional 11 de Novembro, Angola, cost $227 million. The Estadio 11 de Novembro is a multi use stadium in Luanda, Angola. Completed in 2010 ahead of the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations, it hosted nine matches during the tournament, including the five Group A matches, one Group B match, one quarter final and semi final, and the final. It is currently used on a regular basis by football clubs Primero de Agosto, Petro de Luanda, Benfica de Luanda, who play in Girabola. Its capacity is 48,000. The stadium is named after the date of Angola's independence. The stadium is located in Bellas Municipality at the expressway surrounding Luanda on the roadside. The total cost for the construction of the stadium came to about 227 million US dollars, making it the sixth most expensive stadium in Africa. Number 5. Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, South Africa, cost 270 million dollars. The Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium is a football and rugby union stadium in Port Elizabeth, Eastern Cape, South Africa. It is one of the world class stadiums in South Africa. It hosted the 2010 FIFA World Cup matches and the third place playoff. It is the home of Chipa United's football club and Southern Kings A team of Rugby Union. The stadium was designed by the Department of Public Works National Construction Week program in 2006 with students from Holy Cross High School Thina Dulane, Yaliza Dalamba, Igna Ngalalokulu in Singiabora and Yenzi from Umata. The stadium sits for 6,000 in addition to 4,000 extra seats temporarily installed for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The seats are of different shades, from light orange to dark red. They are arranged seemingly at random, but this was done to help the stadium appear full at all times. It also means that the sun damage is less of a problem and replace it are less noticeable. The stadium also boasts 49 hospitality suites, two business lounges, a gymnasium and lecture and function rooms. There are also two conference rooms situated on the first level, which are able to accommodate 200 people. The five-tier 2 billion rand, approximately $159 million Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium was built overlooking the North End Lake at the heart of the city. It is one of three coastal stadiums built to host the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It regularly hosts large-scale rugby union and football soccer matches. The stadium also has been used as a concert venue. Number 4. Moshud Abiola National Stadium, Nigeria Cost $360 million Moshud Abiola National Stadium, formerly known as National Stadium Abuja, is a multi-purpose national sports stadium located in Abuja in the federal capital territory of Nigeria. The stadium serves as a home to the Nigerian national football team as well as a center for various social, cultural and religious events. The federal government of Nigeria approved the contract for the construction of the national stadium complex and Games Village on 18 July 2000. The stadium was constructed to host the 8th All-Africa Games which took place in October 2003. On the 12th of June 2019, President Muhammadu Buhari announced the change of the name of the national stadium, Abuja, to Moshud Abiola National Stadium. President Buhari made this pronouncement during his speech at the Democracy Day celebration on Wednesday at the Eagle Square, Abuja. Moshud Abiola National Stadium is one of the 50 most expensive stadiums ever built in the world. Moshud Abiola National Stadium main bowl is designed to accommodate 60,491 spectator seats covered by a lightweight roof construction. The main characteristics are the two overlapping spectator tiers, the lower tier accommodating 32,000 seats and the upper tier 28,000 seats. The lower tier also incorporates 56 corporate suits with viewing terraces and one presidential lounge for 50 guests. Number 3. FNB Stadium, South Africa, cost $440 million. First National Bank Stadium or simply FNB Stadium, also known as Soccer City or the Calabash, is a football and rugby union stadium located in Nasrek, bordering the Soweto area of Johannesburg, South Africa. The venue is managed by Stadium Management South Africa and is home of Kaiser Chiefs FC in the South African Premier Soccer League, as well as key fixtures of the South African national football team. It is located next to the South African Football Association headquarters where both the FIFA offices and the local organizing committee for the 2010 FIFA World Cup were housed. Designed as the main association football stadium for the World Cup, the FNB stadium became the largest stadium in Africa with a capacity of 94,736. However, its maximum capacity during the 2010 FIFA World Cup was 84,490 due to reserved seating for the press and other VIPs. Though the stadium was built in 1987, the stadium underwent a major upgrade for the 2010 FIFA World Cup with a new design inspired by the shape of an African port, the Calabash. 
Several local and international games have been played at the FNB Stadium. It cost the South African government $440 million to put the FNB Stadium together. Number 2. Moses Mabida Stadium, South Africa, cost $450 million. The Moses Mabida Stadium is located in Durban, South Africa, and was named after Moses Mabida, a former General Secretary of the South Africa Communist Party. It's a multi-use stadium which hosted many games during the 2010 FIFA World Cup and has a capacity of 54,000. It's right next to the Kings Park Stadium and the Durban Street Circuit, somewhat reminiscent of the famous Wembley Stadium arc, a 350 meters long free and 105 meter high span arc hold up the roof of the stadium. The top of the arc rises to 106 meters above the pitch. The arc also represents the once divided nation coming together, inspired by the South African flag. The stadium, which has hosted several local and international matches, cost $450 million to construct and is currently the second most expensive stadium in Africa. Number 1. Cape Town Stadium, South Africa, cost $600 million. The Cape Town Stadium is a football and rugby union stadium in Cape Town, South Africa, which was built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. During the planning stage, it was known as the Greenpoint Stadium, which was the name of the previous stadium on the site and this name was used frequently during World Cup media coverage. It is the home ground of Premier Soccer League clubs Ajax Cape Town since 2010 and Cape Town City since 2016. It has also hosted the South Africa Sevens Rugby Tournament since 2015. The stadium is located in Greenpoint between Signal Hill and the Atlantic Ocean close to the Cape Town City Centre and to the Victoria and Alfred Waterfront, a popular tourist and shopping venue. The stadium had a seating capacity of 64,100 during the 2010 World Cup later reduced to 58,309. The stadium is connected to the waterfront by a new road connection, Granga Bay Boulevard. The first game to be hosted at the new Cape Town Stadium was the Cape Town Derby between Ajax Cape Town and Santos on 23rd January 2010 as part of the official inauguration of the stadium. Only 20,000 tickets were made available for the event and were sold out by Friday 15th January 2010. The soccer festival had entertainment from local band Freshly Ground and the Vovuzela Orchestra performance during halftime. There you have it explorers, those were the top 10 most expensive stadiums in Africa. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.